Hello again, welcome back. Uh, last time we were here, we got the Dark Pact. I went ahead and put that in. Uh, we increased the spawn rate of our Scourge. We also gave our horrors a little bit of life still. And we're going. Okay. Nice little Your trinket is ready to be used. Now, before we do anything, go out to the random scourges. And as you can see, the respawn on the scourges is moving much faster. actually see this working out really well or like the building style working out really well if like you could either get like an army of high-end units or you can get a army of elite uh, like a, a small army of just like elite lower end units or a big army with just a ton of different types of units Fight a bunch of people. Do not go after those. Get away from them. You don't want to fight those hunters. They already made me. People are bloodthirsty. That's part of what I love about you. I wish there was a way to adjust the camera angle a little more. And it moves just too fast. Like, you can see just how fast the camera moves when you're just going from side to side. Oh, my pudges aren't lasting any time soon. That's target is out of range. Probably should have given my pledges some armor or the vomit or something. That's target is out of range. I'm trying to 
have to kill my fudge, please? Thank you. We're wanting just a small corpse so we can eat the big ones. Kind of one of those weird resource management where you're like, well, I need to eat and I need to raise dead. But I gotta be careful on who I do which one on because some of them are worth more than the other. Now we have a full force. Summon unit apparently. I wonder if they last or if they're like a time unit. Oh, let's see how effective they are. Oh, 
Oh, wow. He doesn't give blood when he dies like that, though. I was a little bit concerned, because I thought that maybe the map was, like, something had broken, but apparently the map doesn't get completed until you've been investigating the area. But one nice thing about the map is it does keep up to date. That's everything? Yeah, we can't really resummon please. That was a nice little thing, being able to take over... Um, a, an enemy unit. I could see how that, like, uh, it probably wasn't working because they were, like, elite boss guys. Never mind control the elite boss guys. It's not why. But I could see where that can come in really handy. The fleas seem to be really strong, but at the same time... hoping that doesn't mean something other than what I'm thinking it means. 33rd of Varus, 499, Entry 7. Seeing the manic frenzy of the King's army upon my approach is immensely satisfying. At the first sight of me, his minions became hysterical and zealous, fighting not just to the death, but welcoming it. The irony is that, for as hard as they fight, for every wave of bloated, corpulent lackeys the King delivers unto my wrath, I become all the stronger. I've heard it said that inadequate men are wont to compensate with large armies, larger and intensely frivolous titles, and most telling of all, inordinately adorned and presumptuously generous statues dedicated to their egos. Okay, so seems like I've maxed out my damage. So I think the next thing I'm gonna go for, hmm. Gonna go with blood. Sounds like a good thing to start off with. Let's see, last time I got the green goop, um, it slows enemies. It kind of seems like a version of the jar of filth, just that deal, doesn't deal damage, but slows instead. health pot, basically. Uh, no, I think I'm gonna stay with mostly what I got. No, we'll, we'll take health pot and, no, we'll keep please. Please were nice. Something I can pop at the beginning of a fight and not have to worry about it for a while. Let's see, let's go ahead and just get that. Okay, um... Ooh, that could actually be pretty good. Extra blood. Uh, temporary units are nice, but... They're temporary, so they're not exactly a good first picker. That just increases her duration. Hmm. We'll have to play with her a little bit. I start off with five blood. Now, since I upgraded my Your blood. trinket is ready to be used. We are able to use a trinket. I'm gonna go ahead and spawn those first. Wow, 
Okay, I'm, I must be hearing things. I thought I heard K9 for a second there. Oh, nope, nope. I totally heard that. Okay, so... being really powerful on the AoE deck, although the Grenadier and the Caster neck seem to, like, she doesn't seem to be a great first choice for them. Like, she's not bad, but she's not bad. Dang it. That's actually... I also think I saw it the wrong way. Okay, let's try this one more time. Your trinket is ready to be used. Thank <laughs> you. 
rocket is ready to be used. Okay. Well, we found a respawn point. Let's go ahead and get some resources up. What? I did get a couple of bodies out here. Dogs back, I could really use some blood. Actually, I could use some bodies. Fudge in that fight. 
Yeah, no biggie. Now what do we have No biggies. How am I supposed to pop biggies? Stat with random. Yeah. I love pigs. They give blood. I needed blood that fight. Fifty-fifth day of Precious, four ninety-nine. On the twenty-third day of the Luda Loosed, entry eight. Upon entering the church, a familiar sense of worship beguiled my senses. The place itself has changed little. Though the worships have changed much. Barnabas, once considered my closest friend and confidant, the man who betrayed me to the king, now reigns as his high priest here. And though his sins be legion, I claim my vengeance for his most grievous. He and his ilk travel amongst the denizens of the city on restful mornings, rousing the simple folk from their slumbers for the masturbatory self-pleasure of attempting to convert them. Oh, I end his unholy sermons this night, freeing the city from the false god king. Once I would have done this in the name of Kipharos, but he betrayed me at our deaths. Now I do this for clear, lord of chaos, doom, and all things slightly off kilter. Okay, um, I picked up the nuke trinket. Um, high damage explosive, medium cooldown. Kind of nice, it's medium. I'm gonna upgrade blood again because damage is full. It even says damage. And I'm pretty sure it's not trying to impersonate Mr. T. Let's see here. This lady, I don't like her. I can't wait till they come out with the second one. Like, I mean, the idea. It's like, hey, <clears throat> this guardian will protect the, the, the Necro and his army. Um, so you basically put down a field of, I kick your ass, not you kick mine. Which sounds great if I'm up punching people in the face. But as a grenadier, half my job is, I'm gonna run away, throw grenades at you, and kite you until you're dead. So, it, it, it's a little failing for me. Um, these guys, definitely gonna have to give this guy bonus armor. Love that guy to death. He explodes too fucking much. It pisses me off. We're gonna change his attack as well. I don't 
really want, like, his slow is nice, but I like him being a damage bomb. Yeah, it's actually kind of weird. We're, we've done everything except damage. Actually, the Lingering Cloud will probably be my next choice, because I don't like when my punches die, but when they do, I want it to be useful. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end this recording, so I'll see you in a few.